I started dancing when I was four after watching a program on TV. Actually, it was an Italian TV. I've watched the famous video of Baryshnikov, and I was actually three years old, and I was watching TV, and I said, I want to be a ballet dancer. And I've started at four years old in Italy, then I moved to La Scala Ballet School, and when I was 16, I moved to the Royal Ballet School, where I graduated when I was 19. I did two years in the Zurich Ballet, one year in Norwegian National Ballet, and now I've been 12 years at the Royal Ballet Company in London, where I'm currently a first soloist. So after uh, making my big debut at the Royal Ballet Company, I've been approached by Joaquin de Lutz and Pino Alosa to come and work with the company. Uh, this is the first time I'm coming in afresh and uh, getting to know the company in a very short time. I'm very excited about the result. I feel like I've been influenced a lot by the way I've created my piece, by the, their style of the company, the environment of the company, and I'm having a great time. I primarily choreograph in a classical idiom, although I try to sort of like gather influences, A, from different styles, but also from the way my dancers move, and I try to merge that together. So the piece you're going to see, it's choreographed on Grieg's Piano Concerto No. 1. It's a wonderful piece of music. Initially, I didn't have a, a clear concept of what I wanted, and actually, after coming here in Spain and getting to know the, the company and the dancers, I started to understand that within the music there is a clear romantic vein throughout which I couldn't ignore. So even though my intention was to make an abstract piece, it's become increasingly more about romance and love in a fluid manner. So trying to capture the complicated dynamics of a group of people such as the dancers and the choreographer. What I'm trying to achieve with this piece is for the audience to have a perception of a an environment that where everybody feels comfortable to be who they are, therefore you feel comfortable to be who you really are.